yo, yo, what's going on, people? Boss Man CNB Outdoors, what's going on, everybody? I'm out here in the garage today. Got a little project I'm finna work on. A little project I've been putting off, man, for about two years now, man. I got this little Z grill that I had bought two years ago. I ain't even put that thing together yet. So I'm finna get ready and put it together because hunting season right around the corner and uh, I plan on doing a little cooking on it this year. I know y'all want to see me smoke some wild game on it, so I'm finna go and get it set up and uh, that way I can uh, put some meat on the, on, on the grill for y'all this year, man. Put some wild game on the grill for y'all this year. We got a break in the weather. This is the kind of weather I like, man. It's, you can actually get outside and work in the yard and work on your little projects and stuff without dying, man. So this summer was hot, man. I think we had like 100 degree temperatures, man. I think the whole summer, man. So I'm finna get everything set up and uh, y'all stay tuned. We're gonna put this bad boy together. So this the grill right here. That's your model number. And this here supposed to be the grill, grill some, some grill accessories. I don't know what's in it. And uh, this the right this right here is supposed to be a shelf i think a shelf that go it say front front shelf so i'm thinking it's a shelf that go across the front right here i don't know what's in these boxes i'm gonna open them up and get everything set up so that way it'll be a breeze putting this thing together if you get all your tools and everything you need uh for the project it make everything go a whole lot smooth all right people so here we go we're gonna start out with the base we've got the wheels right here and so the first thing you do is you just put the wheels on i got the base in the same position that they got so the two the two wheels with 47 on there go in the front so 47 going the front and 46 going the back so we're gonna start out with that. I don't know how you supposed to tighten this up with. Oh, okay, got the nut down at the bottom. So let me get the, let me get the wrench out of here. So once you get it started, you can tighten it up with the wrench. I'll do one at a time. Got that one in, so now let's do this one. I'm not gonna tighten them, tighten them. I'm just snugging them up. All right, now we put the front ones on. Put this one on. Just snugging them up, not tightening them up yet. All right. All right, so we got the wheels on. So next, I gotta put this little part on right here. So y'all stay tuned. So this is supposed to be the front of the front of the grill. You gotta put the screw in first. These magnets, you just slide them in through the front. Like that. All right, and that's it on that part. So next we gotta put the body frame together. 
this the base I just put together right here so I gotta get piece 45 piece 41 and piece 34 and then the screws the screws that I'm gonna use is is gonna be A Let's see what an A screw that so all of these screws right here is A So let me go find these pieces right here and then y'all stay tuned. So I got all the panels right here. And uh, got all the screws right here. So it's looking like we're gonna need one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five. Right now it's looking like we're gonna need six screws. So I'm gonna go ahead and take six out of here. God damn it. Washers don't fill up. I'll find them. It's all good, I'll get them in a minute. So I'm gonna go ahead and take six of these out. So it's saying put the size on first, then put the back on. So that's the back, these are the sides. Forty five go on this side. Like this. Right now, I'm not gonna snug them up. I'm just putting them on. All right, now the back. Now the back piece. So actually I need more than six. I need one, two, three, four. I need four more. beam right here goes I don't hear some thinking it goes like this here so that's next y'all stay tuned all right next we got the front beam and it goes in like that That's it for that assembly. So next, next we got the hopper. So y'all stay tuned. All right, so next we got the hopper assembly. This the bottom half and this the top half. So, and this the handle that goes with it. 
so for this for this assembly we need C and D C and D so this C right here these little screws right here D, where is D? D right here. So this piece goes on here like. Like this. Got to open the lid up because it got a nut and a screw. So let me see, do this fit? Nope. See if this one fit. Nope. Maybe they tighten up on their own. So let me see. Yeah, they tighten up on their own. So make sure they tight. <clears throat> so that goes on like that. That's the door. I don't know if this here comes off or stays on. I think it stays on. <clears throat> and on this side is your handle. And it use two A's. That's it on the hopper. Step four is we gotta put the whole chamber on top of the body frame. Let me move this hopper out the way and uh, get that piece back over here. So y'all stay tuned. So first I gotta move, remove this safety frame on the bottom right here. Got this side off. This side over here is on there, Jack. I'm about to get a bigger screwdriver for that. I'm about to get one of my screwdrivers. Y'all stay tuned.
So now, let me see if these wheels are locked. All right, so now I gotta lift this and put it on here. So you so you need four A screws to tighten it down. I'm not gonna snug them yet. Try to get them all in. And that's that. I know some of y'all probably saying, boss man, why you ain't using no power tools? Cause on, on some jaws, man, you just can't use no power tools cause you might strip something or tear something up. So on little delicate jobs like this here, I do not use power tools. All right, so let's see what's next. So next is saying, So next is saying put the hopper on. So what I do, I just spin it around so we can see. That's it for that, so y'all stay tuned. Let me see what the next one is. So next we gotta put the, uh, the smoke stack on. That's what this is right here. So 
this goes on the top. All right, so it got to come with a gasket. Then it's the top. The top screws in right here. This is how this is going to go like this here. The gasket goes on first. Then on the other side, you got a nut and a washer for the other side. So next is your cap. Notice on your cap, it got this lock nut right here. But what this lock nut does, you can adjust the height of your your chimney you see what i'm saying you can have it higher or you can have it lower so that's what this screw for you can set it to the depth that you want it if you want it closed all the way up you you tighten this all the way up so i'm gonna put mine about right there for right now just to see and then you tighten it up until it get until it tightens up to the lock nut. There it is. It's all the way to the lock nut. All right, so next step is uh putting the doors on. Got the doors right here. It's, it's pretty simple. Got that little notch right there where you can pull it down to go inside the, the body right here. All right, so put the bottom in. Then pull it down on your latch. Where's the top hole at? Right. All right. There. There it is. There. Voila. There you go. And uh, here go your handle. Your handles are already threaded on the inside. So all you need is a find your hole, get it started. Do the bottom. Tighten it down. There it is. That's what you do, people. And that magnet is magnet is pretty pretty strong, so it hold them doors on there real tight. And that's it on the door. So let me get this other side done, and y'all stay tuned. All right. So next, we're gonna put the side shelf on, which is this part right here. All right, so you got two from two, two from the inside and two from the outside. I'll start the ones from the inside first. Start 
start the ones on the outside. Tighten the ones up on the inside. Then we got three screws that go on the side right here. They call step screws. And these are like if you want to hang some utensils or something, you can hang them right here. All right, next we're gonna put the handle on the uh, on the lid. All right, so here go your handle for your lid. Got the screws already. And all you need is uh, two washers. I'm not gonna tighten them too tight because I don't want to strip them. And that's it. Voila. That was step nine, so we're going to step 10. It's saying position the heat baffle. So I don't got something to do with that right there. So let me find out where the heat baffle is and y'all stay tuned. All right, so here go the heat baffle. And from what it's saying, all it does, it just sits on here like this here. That's it. It don't have no screws. It don't have no screws and nothing like that. It just sits on there like that and that's it. So that's it for the heat bath. So next, we gotta put the grease. We gotta put the grease pan in. So here goes your grease pan. Is that it? It just sit in there like that, I guess. No, that can't be it. Let me see. There's something missing over here. So what I've noticed, the instructions are starting to take their own course. They're leaving our steps and everything else. So going forward, I'm just trying to figure, I have to figure this stuff out on my own. So y'all stay tuned. All right, so I figured it out. So this piece right here is supposed to go right here. All right, so what I'm gonna have to do is I'm gonna have to take these, take these screws back out. But these screws is holding the hopper on us. So let me, let me move the heat baffle. And uh, take these screws back out. That's it. All right, let me put the, put that back on. Now we should be ready, Freddy, for the grease, grease drain. Yep, there it is. There it is, people. That's how it's supposed to go. The grease rundowns here through here and out to the grease bucket. Here go the grease bucket right here. This your grease bucket. The grease, 
grease bucket gold right that grease bucket goes right there like that already let's see we got these the last two steps put the grills in but then we got an ash tray that goes on the back side and that's it people all right so next we're gonna do the ash tray and all you got to do to the ashtray is just put the handle on. Screwdriver. Tighten these up. That's it on the ashtray. So in the ashtray, go the round back. And uh, it just slides right in here. Already. And last but not least, we're gonna go ahead and put the grills in. Spin this bad boy around. And we got your grills right here. Voila. Voila. And we got these two. These two. I believe that's it, people. We got this one right here. I don't know what this is. Folding, folding front shelf. So I don't know. Let me see what this is. Front shelf. So this is supposed to be a front, a front shelf. The grill don't come with a front shelf, so I bought one, and uh, they didn't send no instructions on how to put it on. So I'm about to go to YouTube or something and see how to put it on. So y'all stay tuned. All right, so I got it figured out. You got to come loose right here. On both sides. You want to use the screws that they provided. <clears throat> uh, 
put the first two in like this, like so. Like that. Put this side in. Yeah. Yeah. Suppose. Knock that on like that. Yeah, come with your second screw. Like that. Come with your second screw on this side. <clears throat> All right, suppose to fold down. And there it is, people. The front shelf folds. It's a folding front shelf. Oh, dummy boy. Oh, shiggity. It's pretty sturdy too. I don't plan on putting nothing on it anyway. Probably a mop bucket and that's probably about it. There it is, people. Finished product. Or your hopper way, this is where your pellets go. Here's your temperature control right here. Cabinets. That's you, people. And here go my pellets. I got, I got some hickory. And then I got some, some oak. Then I got some cherry. They got a list of all the pellets they got right here. And uh and these are these are the foods that you can use the pellets with. So with that oak, you see with that oak, you can just about use that oak with anything. Beef, pork, poultry, seafood, what is that? Bacon, vegetables. What else I got? I got I got hickory. So what hickory? Hickory, you can use hickory just about on anything itself. The seafood and the bacon. Then I got cherry. You can use cherry on everything except uh vegetables. So that's your pellet guy right there that you can go by when you purchasing your pellets. So that's what she gonna sit for now. And uh, I'm finna put the cover on them. And uh, that's the last time you're gonna see it. Yo, 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 what's happening, people? If you're still with me, man, I greatly appreciate it. And uh, that's it. I got it done. And uh, it 
it wasn't as hard as I thought, man. It was just, just took a little time, that's all, but it wasn't hard, you know what I'm saying? So, I got it ready. So y'all stay tuned for some cooking, man. This hunting season, I'm gonna be grilling and smoking a lot of wild game. So, y'all stay tuned for that. And uh, like I say, if you, if you if you still watching up to this point, man, I greatly appreciate it. And uh, thank everybody for watching. And uh, and don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. And uh, we're on the road to 90K, man. Trying to get to 100K before, before the end of the year or at the beginning of the year. You know what I'm saying? It's looking kind of rough right now, man, but we still got a little time. And uh, I just want to ask the people, man, what do I got to do to earn your subscription? Drop a comment, man, and let me know what I got to do to earn your subscription. And uh, and I'll try my best, man, to see if we can work out something, man. So, like I said, man, that's it. I'm going to get on up out of here. Appreciate y'all tuning in. And uh, I got to clean up all this mess, man. So... Once I do that, man, I'm gone in the house, man, and uh, and, and take a bath, man. I'm tired, and uh, I'll holler at y'all on the next one, man. Peace.